using alpha radiation in smoke alarms by kscience.com. This here is a smoke alarm. So this here is a radioactive isotope called americium-241. So this here is a radioactive isotope called americium-241. And americium-241 releases alpha particles. As you can see here, the americium-241 releases alpha particles. So what the alpha particles do to the air molecules, they ionize them. So the alpha particles are going to ionize the air molecules. Now the alpha particles ionize the air molecules. This causes a current to form between the plates. As you can see here, this forms a current between the plates. Forming a current between the plates. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So I'm now drawing the circuit. This is a battery which connects to a detector of current, detector of current, which is then connected to an alarm, and this alarm is then connected to the negative plate, the negative plate. So because the alpha particles are ionizing the air molecules between the negative and positive plate in the smoke alarm, the current is going to form. So the current remains high during this period. So if the current remains high, the detector of current is not going to sound an alarm. It's not going to sound an alarm. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So if smoke enters the smoke alarm and it goes between the two plates, smoke is going to slow down the ions between the two charged plates. So if there's a slowdown in the ions between the two charged plates, the current is going to decrease. So the current detector will detect a decreasing current. So if there's a decreasing current, the alarm will sound. So if there's a slowdown in the ions between the two charged plates, the current is going to decrease. So the current detector will detect a decreasing current. So if there's a decreasing current, the alarm will sound. So if there's a decreasing current, the alarm will sound. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's recap. Radioactive isotope called americium-241. The alpha particles emitted by americium-241 are going to ionize the air molecules between the two plates. This causes a current to be formed between the two plates. So the alarm is not going to go off because the current remains higher. So the alarm is not going to go off. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.